this is the magnetosphere viewer and then the most important thing here is you're going to see the red and you're going to go okay yeah it's getting red again on the back side flame job but check out the interminglings of the magnetics you don't normally see this big push and pounding here so I thought it was pretty interesting and as you can see it is so it's something a new feature to get to watching on it seeing it do that and as you can see as we're scrolling back we can even pick up a little bit of the yellow just base basically is, is very new for us to see motion like this okay and then we're going to go to a solar artist check this out and what we're going to see here is what i've seen in a little while was dramatic drop in smoke uh, polar angle and then basically what we've had is we've come back a lot it was in the green earlier today okay so that's what we're gonna that's what we're seeing when we slam on the brakes it seems like on our magnetical and then I could probably go in and pull up a new one and we'll see what it looks like with it speeding up to the, the yellow that it's into and it'll probably get back towards the red again because basically it was in the green quite low uh, it would be normal but the idea that as I've always been trying to explain that we've been in a high polar angle meaning that it's a, uh, a uh, exaggerated okay and very good examples of the Sun right now being very ripped up all the way across and around you'll see a CME here look at this next shot right there I'll be able to show you that in some magneticals and here you'll see a rural off on the north and on the south pole and I'm going to show you this is the CME that's coming off going to be hitting us earth that is earth and as you watch here this is earth also here and you will see here how it's going to hit us okay so we're going to more than likely absorb that cme pretty much a direct on not directly but pretty darn good hit with it coming up and i can show you it should be this one here and it should be the m class that came off and gonna get us basically it's a high you know it's an m class that did get in the m and a lot of these here would normally be C's, so we're getting a lower and then a higher smack. So we're getting punches, and what we used to get punches here in the C area are B's and right at the C threshold, and then bam, we're getting M like that. And that's coming directly to us. Now let's go show this data, basically more than likely what it came from. And what I'm gonna be able to do is give you a dramatic speeds check that out and as I move the cursor around 16,253 kilometers a second okay and that's not the fastest it'll be around 17 and what it does is I can go to what it actually ends up being is it, it's minus and it, when it comes off the Sun it does dramatic speed shifts when we get a flare and I can show you when I touch on the map and I'll do a couple clicks to click it back because we're seeing you having all of a sudden a functionable problem, but I should be able to go back in here and get our speed working again on it. And basically this shows you the speed off the sun and it's a graph, it starts on the 7th, goes all the way through the 12th, but it gives me the speed of the particles coming off the sun. Infinity. That means basically stagnant. A photograph okay at that point in time minus infinity kilometers a second now basically we will be able to also find actual speed of infinity close to it okay it's measuring it in infinity but it's like 17,000 miles or kilometers a second and they've got it messing up on me a little bit now but when, when I first started you were able to see the 17,000 kilometers a second and I'll see if I can get it back in an area like that and it's usually in the white 
because it's basically going way faster than the speed of light. And basically what you need to do is blow up the map bigger, but I can't get you to and show you. And if I go down here, what it's going to do is actually going to get into that area too. Because what it does is it does it a band link like this straight down and it'll still read the speeds. And anyway, the sun is giving us some dramatic wild facts of how to yes and i'm biting my tongue right now so we seem to be finding some envelopes here on some massive speed out there in space always been kind of wondering about it and i think nasa's known about this for quite a while now without finding this software that they had on this As you see we should be able to start getting on that one band i start getting into like the 20 and you can get back into that 17,000 kilometers a second and then get to infinity from minus 335 kilometers a second, okay? Basically stagnant, nothing, zero. And then as I go in the speed range here, it's just being really touchy with me right now. Went from it to infinity. And there's there is band which you get in there to get up to 17,000 kilometers a second. It's just astounding. So there's particles in here in these CMEs. And you have to realize how huge that these CMEs are coming off. And the size of the sun. Basically there's a theory here, and it's not really even a theory, it's it basically what you've got is fact of time travel in here, very conclusive. And now I need to go ahead with showing this, let's go ahead and show my speedy that I ended up uncovering on some pictures. And there you go, I got like a 1,508 kilometers a second. And as you've seen, if you back up the video, you'll see the 1,700 and you can get that by it's just very touchy because it shut, finds all the particles in this that are traveling through space off of the sun when it has a CME blast. And let me go to this real fast so you can, um, and let me go up here so you can see that basically. That's how we find it for coming down to Earth, okay? You need to do your calculations on the time and how fast that CME is going to come and hit the sun, the Earth from the sun there. And this is off of cactus, isn't it playing that? And more than likely, this is the CME that was the M that came off. Because it starts barely on the 8th. So, that's the actual quality of that. I got a velocity data down here on that. So, let me go show you my speedy. And this is speedy, folks. Basically, we, I caught this off of Helio Viewer and then went to... Uh, and I'm going to blow this up. I can put, I can blow it up for you on here. And we can get in to look at Speedy a little bit. And I got a bunch of shots of this. And I'm wondering what happened to them. This is our terahydron tetrahydron. And this thing is flying through space and got caught in the camera. And it was very hard to freeze it. I got lucky that it was just there at the beginning. I kind of call this... I'm not a Silver Surfer uh, comic strip fan at all, really that much. It was pretty cool. I used to sell them when the comics was hot not too long back, when it got hip again for a little while. But uh, the the speed that this thing is going and then the speed that I'm able to find that's coming off the sun and so far. Now, this didn't come off the sun. Let me see if I can find a video that this came off of. Hang on. And here's the, if you can find the date and time on this, it's, it's right here. I believe it's the 18th or whatever that it came up and I'm gonna to try to see if I can go back in my videos and get it and basically this thing came flying by out of space from this direction and there's also when I go through my photographs too you can end up seeing the mass object that's still up there by the Sun we got our mass object and they kind of block it out and I'm thinking this is one of the ones that actually you can see it a little bit better one of them they had it blocked out but that's our object right there and it's basically traveling on a sheet of, not ice, folks, but it, 
light through space. Okay. And then there's other things that I'm biting my tongue on, but I've got some pretty uh, wild stuff that probably factual, actual, uh, we might be able to defeat time and space. So anyway, this is all coming off Helio Viewer. And uh, I'll have to try to find the video, but it, it's just the idea you had to catch that object right away at the beginning of the video. And you can see that it travels through. And it's just, it's wild. And a quick example of they were basically blotching out. They try to make it look like it's not there. Uh, our mass object that's up there by the sun. And as you can see, they digitalize it out. So you probably don't notice it that much, okay? You still see that side of it, though. It's huge, okay? And I'll zoom back out so you realize what I'm shooting at. That's basically there. There's a remnant that's way over here, but that's not the remnant. That's that massive object. Mass 42 through 50 or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm zoomed in at 900, and then I'm going to bring it up to paint. But I'm going to I'm put, showing it here so you can see that I am showing you that, that this is a massive, fast object that went through space. Okay, and then I'll zoom in on it a little bit more, and it's got its terahydrons. As you see, that it's got a small planet here, or a moon, or whatever they are, but they rotate around. Okay. Basically, this is coming off of what we hopefully suspect another gigantic sun somewhere way out in space. It wasn't the sun that this came off of, okay? And it's almost the connections that pulsars are possibly this. And that this is the fastest way you're ever going to travel through time. And that's forward, not backwards. Actually, you could turn around and go backwards. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom up here, but also I'll put it over to the color board. But I want you to realize that I'm not touching this shot up at all or messing with it at all. Okay, all this stuff exists on this dramatic fast piece of light that comes through here. I don't think I'll be able to show the video until the next video because I want to show you this. All stuff all actually exists and it's on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up on paint. Now this was at 900 when I got the shot. and I just go ahead and throw it over on paint. And all this material is here. And it's massive amounts of material. And as I zoom in, you'll see what I'm talking about. That that there, a planet with two other moons or something around it, is part of those three terahydrons, is what I pretty much call them, that are around this tetrahydron. And there's one and two. And that other planet with whatever's going around it. So basically, there is a possibility that you could turn the Earth into a spaceship. Okay? Uh, with the right uh, power and make it travel on light through space. Uh, it's a little far-fetched, but it's, uh, let's put it this way. Nothing's impossible. Okay. Uh, there you go. There's a planet. And this came flying by. Soho satellite up there in space. Let me see if I can hurry up and throw the video on here. And I'll zoom back out on the paint. And you'll realize that's what I zoomed in on that object right there out of this video. Check it out. And we will get to see an M or something like that. We'll get another big flare. Check that dad out right there. Getting ready to crossfade. It pretty much is crossfading right there. And here's where the video that comes from, folks. And I'm going to hit play. And if you go to YouTube and watch that very fast object on Core 2A. And that's where the object was at. And you got to get get it froze right at the beginning here to be able to find it. You're not, I'm not even going to get lucky enough to see it here, I don't think. But you got to cue it. And I'll hit play. And you're going to see it come across real fast if I get the player to work right hang on pretty much got to do it like this and you're going to see it come across and wham well that was that object folks it traveled that fast I'll keep hitting playback and that's what it is that thing streaking across the sky that's what I've got frozen in that picture okay so we and that's not coming off the sun folks as you've seen it come by basically crosses in front of the sun and in front of the Soho camera that's that object I freeze it and I catch that fast moving object that comes by so and I call it speedy folks and basically NASA I keep telling you and anyway I'm gonna go to the right people we can travel through space at amazing speeds and tell me that right now because this is that object I put it over on paint but it also made cause this moon or whatever with an extra moon around it Plus this, these two other terahydrons there, and if I minus it down just enough here, I think, to make you see that. These here terahydrons here, 
this year. And you got all the